Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go th through some of the problems that the regular Excel export feature does when uh, creating tables in SharePoint or exporting tables to a SharePoint list. When you do an export to a site like this, there are several problems. First of all, it always creates a new list in SharePoint. In many cases, you want to import to an existing SharePoint list, and Excel has no way of doing that. Secondly, when you create these columns, these are all list columns. And list columns, they're easy to work with, but they're not the best thing. You usually want to use site columns instead of list columns whenever you can. And Excel has no concept of site columns whatsoever. So you're basically creating all the information in an incorrect or not the optimal way. So those are two of the problems. So you get a new list and you get the wrong type of columns being created. Thirdly, when you go into the browser, it creates a default view, which is this one, which is by default, you go into the quick edit mode. I think that's wrong. And there are a lot of things that don't work if your list has the quick edit view as the default one, such as connecting web parts or displaying information from your list in a web part in general creates some problems when the default view is a quick edit view or what's also called a data sheet view. So you want to have the default view differently. So those are some of the problems that the Excel export feature even though it's simple and it's great, uh, it creates these problems. So in the next demo, I'll show you how to import an Excel spreadsheet into SharePoint using Microsoft Access. Thank you for watching this demonstration.